one of the things that I love about the monuments, and I think anyone can say that they love about the monuments, is how unique that they are, and their uniqueness is their beauty. And so I think without that beauty, culturally, we would not appreciate them as much. I remember as a child, uh, my mother used to take me up to Meridian Hill Park, where there were sculptures, stone sculptures, and beautiful waterfalls. I think the uh, Martin Luther King Monument is beautiful. I think it's, it's powerful. It shows that, you know, there are, you know, rewards for doing the right thing. A lot of the history would be lost if we did not have the monuments because it's a reminder. Sometimes we forget. To visit the Vietnam Memorial at the time that I did, it was very emotional for me because it, it, it brought back some memories of my tour of duty in Vietnam. There's a loneliness that exists there. At least for me, it does. I mean, there's a wall, a black wall, and there are these names on the wall, and and the wall just is it, just is just there. They always represent to me a place where you can go and reflect. We connect to things that mean something to us, and when you tell a person's history and a person's story, especially when it's just the truth. I love history. And I think history should be reflected as truthful as possible. Often, not always, often the monuments tell some of that story. They're wonderful opportunities for reflection in your own feelings, in your own impressions, uh, your own learnings. It might inspire you to, hmm, I might want to go back and read that whole speech, or I might want to really understand what this person was trying to say.